Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a how to build a simple grid uh, using code of course. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's a 12 by 12 grid. Go ahead and maximize here. Oops, going to be above what you can see. So let me go ahead and pull it just right there. Alright, so when we go ahead and count over here, there should be 12 and there should be 12 down. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, and if we count it down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have a 12 by 12 grid, so fairly small. Um, most grids in most games, like an RPG or something, is going to be like 100 by 100. But this is just a small scale. So how we actually built that is using an array. And right here is my array, that, and I built it using picture boxes, uh, which is a pretty common thing. Um, which later on, once you discover how to work with layering, uh, you'll be able to build multiple grids under multiple layers. All right, so what we have here though is we have our boxes a 11 by 11 array. So we start at zero, which is very important to know. We always start at zero. So technically, we would always start right here, and we just go on and on up. I'm building our gray. So technically it should be in reverse, um, but whatever. All these will all be hit for the array. So just note that. So what happens here? How are we building it? Well, according to the load function, it says we're going to build map. This is where we actually build the grid. The grid, I'm sorry. And this is where the loop actually starts, our for loop, for our row and our column, where it makes a call to drawing it. But even this is a little bit confusing, or it can be confusing, um, until we go down here to our actual draw, uh, where we actually draw what's going on. So what we have here is we have our row and a column as a value. As you can see right there, our row and column are set as an integer. We defined them inside. Uh, and it says that's a new picture box. And then we're actually going to set the size of it. So it's going to be a 50 by 50. The next thing that we're going to do is, and this is just something that I did extra that you don't have to do. What I've done here is I've set the border style of the box uh, to give it that black outline. So what I did with that is I just give it a fixed single border style. And that just gives it that black outline so you don't have to, you know, mess with it. The next thing that I've done here is we've also went ahead and set the, bl the back collar. Uh, right here, instead of if you wanted like an image or something, or you wanted a tile or some kind of texture, instead of having a back color like I did, uh, you could set you could set it from a file or something, uh, a back image from a file. So that's pretty much where you start actually painting uh, the tile, so to speak, uh, for its back color, or whatever. Next is the location. This is going to determine how the box is positioned or how each box will be positioned so it's going to go by the boxes row and column width times that column for the x value and it's going to go by the row and column height times the row and that's going to be your x and y how it's figured so basically one 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 two etc etc alright now this you don't have to have this was just for my purposes this is just how to debug print which prints it out over here and tells me that it's working correctly uh, and this you do have to have though this is your uh, controls this is where it actually adds the box to the screen me meaning the form uh, controls just telling it to add the box based on the row and the column which is your X and your Y value alright so let's take a look at it one more time drag it down here so you can see it alright and that is pretty much our grid now some things that you can do later on because uh, right now it has no functionality right now it's just a static board uh, you can actually later on you could actually add in the ability to click 
or select each box that we've created here uh, but that's for another tutorial uh, this one though just it should help you understand how to build a basic grid uh, if anything else you can use this concept to make bigger games uh, or bigger backgrounds for your games and whatnot with very very little effort alright so please subscribe post your thoughts let me know if you found this helpful if you have any suggestions on how to optimize this code even further I think it's pretty optimized as far as what I can see. I don't think it's going to get any shorter, but if you have a better solution, please post it. All right, thank you.